Minasan konnichiwa, Kazuki desu, and this is going to be a guide for Record Buster. So obviously every Record Buster is different. I'm not the best at Record Buster. I don't have the best units, but I've got decent enough units. I mean, this is obviously you can see my score right there is 4,933,912. I haven't been able to beat it yet, but we still have a couple days left. We still have four days left. I'm doing four difficulty because I can't finish five and survive all the way. This is the team I'm currently using. But I'm going to go over some options and things like that and basically units you're going to use. So Otaru this time seals you and he poisons you. So good assists to bring are going to be this Oni Loki whose top seal resists 75%. And then also, if you don't have that one, I'm going to go to my friends, actually. And my friend, who's a lot better at this than I am, <laughs> you can see that quite the score jump. He uses the three-star Anya that you can see right there on his Kino. And then he's got the other Anya on the level one eyes. And that's one of the strategies I'm going to talk about is I don't have that Anya. I wish I did. But what you would do is you would kill off one of your characters and one of your assists that way you could swap in a better assist. And that assist that's going to affect Otaru is, will basically stay on the entire round since it's not going to switch like stages or anything like that. And that's the perfect assist to do it with because you don't want to do it with Amid or any kind of other healing because then only three of your characters are going to get healing and the character that switches in Isn't going to get healing So he did it with detective Anya who's in the first slot on eyes So that's going to lower the team's or Ot Otaru's physical resistance by 15% and So that's even after eyes dies and that's pretty much he did that on purpose with level one eyes so that once she dies, Otaru's physical res is still minus 15%, and then Shizu can swap in and then provide the poison res from that Ahmed to his whole team. So that's what's best to do, is if you have that Detective Anya, make her be the one that always is on your character that's going to be killed off. But you'll see people sometimes do level 1 slots. I've done it on a couple of my teams. I'm going to go to the assists tab here and go over some assists just in case I don't have them. Hestia I have obviously she increases your physical resistance and guard rate she's going to be great to use I use her obviously you're going to want to survive he does a ton of damage it helps with that. The Onsen Hestia if you don't have that Hestia is really good, minus 15 strength. Similar, I mean, it decreases Otaru's strength, so it helps. Like I said, that Oni Loki for seal resist. And then the Anya, the three star one for seal resist if you don't have the Oni Loki. And then also the detective Anya for the minus physical resist if you're running a physical team if you're running a magical team then obviously you could do minus magical resist if you're on JP we obviously don't have I, I don't even know if magical minus resist exists right now and then other assists you're going to bring are Chloe she's going to null a physical attack and you're going to put Chloe on your sub character that way when it gets to the later rounds and you fuck pretty much get to about stage 12 and your characters tank the attack or maybe one of them dies the character that has Chloe will sub in and then you can heal and you pretty much tank attacks toward the end so you want to put Chloe on your sub and then this Ahmed which you don't have is perfect for this she has poison resist so obviously like I said Otaru this time he poisons you and he seals you so you want seal resist and poison resist and then another really good assist to bring would be this T if you have her she increases strength and crit rate 
So obviously the whole thing about about Record Buster is scoring as much points as you can. It's breaking a record. So you want to score as much points as you can, so you need to do damage. That's why Anya and T are a lot better than Onsen, Hesse, and stuff like that that lower strength and help you. I mean, yes, you want to survive, because if you're not surviving, you're not going to get the bonus and stuff like that. But if you have max limit break characters, they should help you survive longer anyways. And your main objective is going to be to DPS. It's going to be to do damage. So here's my team again. You can see I got my Chloe on my assist character. I'm running a physical attack, attack team, obviously. You don't really have a ton of... Uh, global characters and then I have actually a seal resist glorious anklet on uh, photo and then on eyes and Kino I have poison resist glorious anklets and Chizu doesn't have anything on him just like a regular pretty much stock armor so Chizu can pretty much get hurt probably pretty badly with um, poison and same with my photo, but she can't be sealed. So, I'm just going to attack for the first turn. Um, everybody do single attack pretty much. Kino do the high crit one. That's what I do generally every round. Then I do the debuffing attack for the second one. That way it lasts up to the special. Up past the special, actually. I do the increase heal with photo. I usually haven't gotten sealed very often when I ran this, and of course I get sealed now. Then we go back to attacking with photo again. See, I got poisoned. Like I said, only Kino and Photo, only Kino and Eyes have poison resist anklets. Photo, I put seal resist because I need her to heal. So if she gets sealed and I can't heal, I'm kind of done. One of the annoying things about Seal 2, it should come off right there, is you're going to have to remember, I sometimes forget because I'm dumb, to attack again and select your attack. It doesn't just auto-remember the attack you had on, which is kind of annoying to be honest. And I'm going to use Photo Special and the debuff again since you can see it, it's off. So Photo Special, if you don't know, decreases resistance of all types by 30%. And then Kino's debuff is minus, I want to say 20% strength and magic. Yeah, it's 20% strength and magic. So you can see I decreased his strength. He does physical attacks by 20%. Magic down and, thir and physical resistance down by 30%. So now I can do more damage. And that's another thing, so it's not physical resistance this time and not magical resistance. There's no resistance on. So you can literally attack or build whatever team you have best. You don't have to run a magical or a physical team. You can literally pick whichever team is best for you because he doesn't resist anything this round. Then I'm going to heal with Photo, because 8, he's going to do a special again. Debuff with Kino. And then I'm actually going to use my special again. I tried using my special actually with... Um, I did a three combo. I did a 
uh, special with Eyes, Shizu, and Kino, and I just didn't get the damage that I needed. So that's kind of why I started doing this. And I'm really hoping that Shizu's going to survive. <laughs> I'll do my heal with Photo and my special with Shizu. She normally seems to get guarded the least for whatever reason and do the best amount of damage. And he got guarded. Great. I don't know if Photo is going to survive even if she guards because she got. She had pretty low health and she got hit for a lot. We'll see. Yeah, she guarded and she still didn't even survive. Shizu's gonna die from poison, even if he survives this round. It's kind of been rough. I'm gonna do the 40% physical resistance buff again. And I'm not gonna make it. I'm gonna be at four million something. So not super great really for me. I didn't even last the final round. But that's hopefully some tips that'll help you out. Um and just kinda guide you from there. I mean, like I said, I'm not the best, but that should definitely help you out. But thank you all for watching this video. If you did enjoy this content, please subscribe to this YouTube channel for more content like it. But yeah, thank you all for watching this video and I hope to see you next time.